Now today we're looking at an intake manifold tuning valve and that deals with this little guy right here which is an actuator or a motor, an electric motor and a magnet. But that being said, let's jump over to the vehicle. We can check three things and pinpoint why you have a trouble code. So let's get access to the valve which is on the passenger side of the engine. So this is simply just a plastic cover that sits on top of the engine. Plastic tabs, just rotating them by 90 degrees and this pops right off. And just so I have a little bit more working room, I'll remove this compartment as well. Now we have access to the valve. Very simply, it's just a motor along with a magnet and when this valve is closed, it allows high torque at low engine speeds and when the valve opens, it still allows high torque, but at high engine speeds. But before we remove it, I want to verify that we are getting power to the harness connector. So right at the 12 o'clock position, there's a tab. Press down on the tab and pull on the body. Don't pull from the wiring. Okay. Now this is simply a digital multimeter. This will verify if we are getting power at the harness connector. Very easy to use and as always I'll have a link in the description box below in case you need any tools. And this is just a probe kit. Now if you don't have one of these or you don't want to invest in a probe kit, you can simply use a paper clip instead. And the wonderful thing with these probe kits is that they won't damage the harness connector. If you are using a paper clip, just make sure it's thin enough because you don't want to damage the metal prongs inside the harness connector. And with the multimeter, you want the volts DC setting. So now I'm simply taking the red lead to this prong and black goes to ground. Ground is any good metal point on the vehicle. So let's see how this all turns out. Just hooking up red to red. Okay, this is ready to go. And let me find a good ground. I'll try this guy right about here. Ah, let's try this way here. Okay, now we're going to turn on the ignition key and what we want to look for is roughly five volts on the multimeter. So once again, not starting the vehicle, just turning the ignition key on. Okay, so just watch the gauge. And there we go, we have five volts worth of power. Now on some vehicles you may even see a 12 volt reading, that is also fine, that is battery voltage. The point is you want to verify this is getting power. If it is not, check right at this location. What happens over time, especially if your vehicle is old, you have techs working on the vehicle and they're pulling from this location and it, and it dislodges the prongs that live inside the harness connector. Okay, so that's most likely your bad uh, connection at that point. With that being said, everything looks okay here, so let's remove the valve from the engine. Now in this case, I need to use a T30 adapter. It's not your normal fastener in a sense, which is no big deal. I just have a quarter inch drive extension. Let me zoom out here, okay. Here's the valve. Now before you go out, spend your money and replace this actuator or the motor, verify that the valve is not stuck. So look at this, see how easy I can move this valve? Almost no effort whatsoever. You want to verify that you do not have an issue here. If you do, you'll need to remove the intake manifold and investigate why that is. So verify that this is in good shape. Now, if you do need to remove the intake manifold, at least on this Acura, I'll include a link right now. And in a valve cover replacement video that I did a few months ago, you'll see how I remove this intake manifold and you can clearly get access to this valve. But verify this is a good work in order because if it isn't, you're wasting your money buying this. So ultimately, you have three things to check. Number one, make sure that you're getting power at the harness connector. Number two, 
remove the actuator and verify you can move the valve very very easily if you can more than likely it's just a bad actuator motor and you'll need to replace it but verify the valve first because you don't want to buy this if this is your problem okay and as always purchase factory parts do not go after market so in this case Stenzo made in Japan this is a 16 year old part and it still works I'm just doing this video as a how-to so always always purchase the factory parts as always thank you so much for watching